Hello everyone and welcome back to Propway. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to make Blue Beetle's helmet from the new movie Blue Beetle. As usual, I built this helmet by hand out of EVA foam and the link to the template will be in the description below. Now in addition to EVA foam, I also added some LED panels to get the yellow glowing eye effect and I think it came out perfect and I am super happy with this helmet. Before going on with the tutorial, please consider subscribing as it is a big help to this channel and allows me to continue to make props and prop tutorials for you guys. And now, let's get on with the tutorial. So I started off with this paper template that I made and basically we're just going to start transferring these pieces over to 4mm EVA foam. So I'm just taking a sharpie and I'm tracing out all of the pieces here. And once that's done, you should have your layout that looks like this. And this is only one half of the helmet. You're going to have to mirror it to make your two halves. And now I'm going to start cutting out all the pieces with an X-Acto knife. And some of the pieces do require a bit of a beveled cut, but you will see that on the template. So here's one half of the helmet, and then the two halves are right here. So now we're going to take some of this contact cement. I used weld wood, and here I'm just going to start applying the pieces to the different seams that we're going to connect. So I'm starting off with the face plate and basically gluing two middle seams on the face plates. So we're going to connect the eyebrow kind of piece right here and then we're going to connect the two halves together right down the middle just like this. I call that an eyebrow and that totally was not an eyebrow. But here's the face plate and that's what it looks like when it's put together. So now we take a heat gun and we start heating up pretty much the rest of the pieces and basically once that's heated up we can start using this little tool that I have which is just a cup and start getting that dome shape to these pieces. So as you can see I'm just kind of heating it up and massaging that piece to get a nice rounded piece that looks like this. Now once those pieces are rounded we can start gluing them together. So these are the two pieces at the top of the forehead. We're just going to connect that down the middle. And then we're going to apply that to the face plate and just connect it just like this. And here's what you should have at this point. We're going to continue on with these next pieces that are going to go on the back of the helmet. So as you can see, we're just going to continue applying the contact cement to all of the seams on every part of the helmet. So here's what the next four pieces should look like. We're going to connect these two pieces at the back of the helmet right down the middle and that's going to get connected at the top of the helmet now these two main side pieces we're going to connect this little seam here first and do that to both sides and then we're going to connect the main side piece to the face plate and once you connect both pieces together, you should have something that looks like this. Now here are going to be the chin pieces, kind of the chin and jaw. Basically we're going to connect the bottom piece like this. And then you can connect the two jaw pieces together like this. And here is what the full jaw piece should look like. So we're going to start applying that here to the ears first on both sides. And then basically we just connect the rest of the seams to the ear and then to the mouth and just finish off that whole front of the mask. And once that's done, you should have a main base that looks like this. So here's the ear piece. We're going to start connecting that seam right here on both ear pieces. And once that's done, we can put that ear piece inside of that big ear hole on the helmet. And here's what we have at this point. And as you can see, I started sketching out a bit of the details around the eyes here, but we're going to do more of that later. So now to finish off the eyes, I have these pieces that I sketched out, kind of these half moon crescent pieces. And basically these just get glued inside of the eyes to give it a little bit more depth and more accuracy. And here's what the helmet should look like at this point, and as you can see, it looks much better. So now we can start sketching out all of the details on the faceplate. And there are a ton of details, and I use a lot of reference photos. So now with all those details, we're going to take an X-Acto knife and start scoring all of those details just by cutting a, you know, a very shallow line that we're going to heat up later to let those lines really pop. 
So we're going to score the entire helmet, or all of the details on the helmet. And here's what the details look like when they're scored. So now we can take our heat gun and start heating up the entire helmet and just let those lines open up. You don't want to heat it up too much, just, you know, a few seconds on each part of the helmet. And now we do a quick test fit, and at this point I was super excited because the helmet fit perfectly, and that's really rare whenever I freehand a helmet. So now we're going to start adding some paint. I'm just using some of this blue sapphire acrylic paint, and I'm just brushing that on with a foam brush onto the entire helmet. For this, I did about three layers just because I wanted the color to really pop. And now you can see I'm starting to add the details right around the eyepiece. And before we continue painting, I'm going to take these two ear pieces and glue them inside of those big holes. And basically, once those are glued in, we're also going to cut out another small hole. And this helped out because it looks accurate and it also helps me hear better because it's always hard to hear in these helmets. And now we can add the black paint to the faceplate. So I start off with a very thin layer of just black acrylic and I brushed it on. And here's what it should look like when that first layer is done. And once that's done, I apply this gunmetal gray metallic paint and then we just brush it on all over the black and this gives it a very nice metallic shine to it. And here's what the paint looks like up to this point. So now we just add on a final gloss coat just like this, which I use a spray on gloss. And now the colors really started to shine and I think this looks 10 times better. So for the eyes, I'm using these LED strips that are powered by AAA batteries. You can find them on Amazon and as you can see with a flip of a switch, the light turns on. And here you can see they are see-through. It's kind of hard to see in a dark room, but when you're in a bright room, you can see perfectly fine. So I just hot glued those into the inside of my helmet. And once you're done, your helmet should look like this. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. I hope you learned something and I hope you try building this Blue Beetle helmet for yourself. Again, the link to the template will be in the description below. It may or may not be uploaded by the time I upload this video because I usually end up doing some small detail changes at the end. But as soon as I complete the template, it'll be in the description. If you do build a helmet, feel free to share photos with me and tag me on TikTok or Instagram and I would love to see your work and I would love to share your work with my audience. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next video. Bye.